Uh, Coach held them under five shots uh, against in two of the three periods. Did it feel like maybe you were the better team here this afternoon? Two turnovers ended up in the back of your net. Yeah, I think for two out of the three periods, it's, that's fair to say. Second period, obviously, uh, was where we lose the game. We gift them two goals, and and we just got careless with the puck and um, didn't sustain ourselves in the offensive zone the way that we did in the first and third. So that's where we're at as a team. You know, we we can't afford to play uh, two periods. Um, not nearly enough offense for us to make up for a lost period and, and uh, to gift them two goals the way that we did. You were a little bit worried about how the team might start the game. Uh, how do you, how do you felt the team came out of the gate at least? Uh, I thought they were fine. I mean, let's be honest, there's a snoozer of a game for both ways. That's what happens when you have two teams that don't skate for a week and then get together and play a hockey game. Uh, I was expecting that, but um, you know, they found a way to get two in. We only get one. Their goaltender is good. He's been good against us all year long. Uh, we've come to expect to not get a whole lot uh, against them, so you can't afford to give up the two that we did. Frederick uh, Gauthier seemed pretty strong this afternoon. Do you think uh, his stint up with the Maple Leafs last week uh, helped him uh, and his development here? I think so. Anytime you get up to the NHL and you and you play well, it helps your confidence. It also helps that he's a guy, he's one of the guys that's been on the ice consistently. Um, so he had a bit of an advantage uh, there in the game, and I think we saw that. I thought he got better as the game went on too. Um, you know, we asked a lot of him today. You know, he played against the, you know, the toughest matchup and, and uh, apparently killed responsibility. And, and we're asking for a little more offensively for him as well. You know, uh, so I thought it was good for him. It was good to see him respond the way that the way that he did coming off of a, you know, a good week in the NHL. Kirby's been very productive the last couple of weeks, over a point a game over the last eight, I believe. Uh, what have you seen from his development in that time? I just feel like he's finding himself again as a player. I think he, he seems to be really confident. Um, you know, I think the, early in the season, we've, I kind of found him as a bit of a player that's going out there just trying to hope that something doesn't go wrong. And, and now I feel like he's out there wanting to make a difference. Uh, he's wanting all the ice time he can get. He wants to be out there. He feels like he's, he can make a difference. So that's really, really good. That's one of the things we wanted to happen for him in the first half of the season was to regain some confidence. Um, in himself as a player and then get his legs under him and then you know we can we can make some growth in his game from there so we've got him back to to feeling really good about himself and now we're just going to keep building from there as you head out on this road trip uh, are you hopeful that you might get Kasperi and uh, Brendan Leipzig back at some point we're hopeful yeah we're hopeful in a different world with some more practice time and things like that uh, we would have had those guys available today we just didn't feel it was right for them or any of our other injured guys uh, to play after we, we haven't had a practice here in a week and for the injured guys it's been almost two weeks since they've had a practice so just just taking it slowly with them.